Silver Price Forecast 2020, Silver's Time to Shine? Silver Price Forecast 2020 shines, but upside depends on business cycle. My Silver Price Forecast 2020 is forging higher, based on strong positive catalysts. I'll highlight three catalysts that are working in Silver's favor and present an end destination forecast. The running of the Silver Bulls is close at hand. Before I move forward with my reasoning for higher silver prices, let's get some of the not-so-positive news out of the way. Similar to my gold price forecast for the next 10 years, silver's near-term fundamentals are somewhat mixed. The economy is growing at what can best be described as a moderate pace. But this moderate growth is much less than the gross domestic product GDP trend growth in previous business cycles, which reduces consumer demand somewhat. Tepid consumer demand usually results in lower industrial end use demand, which works to cap prices. Like gold, silver's precious metal qualities have been subdued in recent times. Soaring equity prices and record low volatility have curtailed the wall of worry for now. But those dynamics should change over time. Another round of extreme monetary easing, combined with a geopolitical firestorm, could make risk premiums a factor once again. Three catalysts for silver prices to rise. With a silver price per ounce hovering between $14 minus $21 slash Oz. Since July 2014, silver has been an underperforming asset. Like gold, silver can't seem to catch lasting momentum in either direction. For investors with short term horizons, the price action is bound to frustrate. That being said, I believe that certain factors will work in silver's favor. Silver's price action is historically cyclical. As such, timing the entries is critically important. I believe that the time is coming, however, when silver should be over-allocated into individual portfolios. Here are three reasons. 1. No growth in silver supplies. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, America only produced 470,000 ounces of silver in the first five months of 2017. A year ago, it was 482,000 ounces. Lower supplies aren't just an American anomaly. It's happening throughout the world. Total silver supply decreased by 32.6 million ounces in 2016, led by a 11% drop in demand. Perhaps shockingly, Mexico registered the largest decline in production last year, followed by Australia and Argentina. Mexico is traditionally the largest silver producer in the world. Leading the charge to cut back production are the big silver producers, who have little incentive to find more supply. Typical all-in sustaining costs ASK in the sector are around $10 minus $14 slash Oz. So many producers aren't making much money with silver prices stuck in the mid-teens. The only thing that will incentivize exploration is a higher spot price. I predict that this can happen at the advent of a new business cycle when prices and industrial demand ramp up in conjunction with one another. 2. Technological Demand The winds of change regarding industrial silver demand are blowing. Industrial demand is falling in some traditionally strong areas, like electronic appliances and photography. This has certainly hampered the demand curve in a significant way. But new industries are emerging that could ramp up demand to a higher plateau. Purchases from the photovoltaic industry jumped 34% in 2016, driven by a 49% increase in solar panel installations. The amount of silver consumed totaled 76.6 million ounces, which was the highest amount since 2010. The number of global solar panel installations increased exponentially as well. Driven largely Chinese and American growth, Installations climbed 126% and 95%, respectively. Whether the increase in new tech can fully make up for the losses in traditional industrial silver demand remains to be seen. The photovoltaic industry, while not new, still offers plenty of mainstream adoption upside. 3. Increasing investment demand. Retail investment demand has played a huge part in silver's run from $10 slash Oz to $50 slash Oz since the U.S. housing bubble. Back then, the U.S. Mint was regularly selling out of Silver Eagle coins, and shipments from bullion dealers were delayed for weeks on end. Retail investors couldn't get enough. 
The massive stimulus and balance sheet expansion undertaken by the Federal Reserve spooked investors and sent the U.S. dollar lower. Over time, however, investment demand waned as the U.S. economy gained traction. So much so that, by 2016, silver coin and metals fabrication fell by 9% from the 2015 record highs. Total physical demand fell by 11%, tumbling on weak jewelry, silverware and retail investment. After profound resilience by retail investors up until 2015, investors finally threw in the towel. Risk assets have won the battle against silver for now, but I don't expect that will last. Similar to the 2009 to 2011 period, the silver price outlook in the future will rebound once a new business cycle comes to pass. Why? Because once the recession hits, the Federal Reserve will likely jump the shark and stimulate the economy even more than in 2008. It has to, as it takes an ever increasing amount of fiat currency to produce a similar effect on the economy. If investors were fearful of the fiscal condition of Uncle Sam in 2008, wait until the next recession hits. The next one is likely to be global in nature, as most countries are subsidizing consumer demand through low interest rates. Low interest rates are possible through central bank bond purchases, which blows up their balance sheets. Low interest rates also cause sovereign nations to borrow more than is fiscally responsible. Bottom line. Expect silver investment demand to return with a vengeance. The hemorrhaging silver supply will act to support prices. Silver Price Forecast 2020 Silver price predictions for 2020 have as much to do with timing as anything else. If, somehow, the current U.S. business cycle doesn't slip into a recession and is still expanding by 2020, the silver price forecast will be subdued. However, if a recession takes hold, like I expect that will by the end of 2019, the sky's the limit for silver prices. A U.S. recession will trigger the Federal Reserve to act, creating another round of stimulus and monetary dilution. Stock markets will likely plunge, turning silver investment outflows into inflows. There will likely be panic and concern about the viability of the U.S. dollar, as America's deficits soars. Whether the U.S. dollar declines right away is an open question. Sometimes the dollar strengthens during periods of crisis, but it could easily be abandoned this time around. For the first time since Richard Nixon completely broke away from the gold standard, the dollar's reserve currency status is under threat. China and Russia have announced a bilateral agreement to conduct trade in rubles and yuan. Iran vowed to ditch the dollar in response to Trump's Muslim ban. Venezuela is actively pursuing the same policies. I have no doubt that more countries will seek to end this hegemony. Obviously, a crashing US dollar would help boost silver prices in direct proportion to the strength of the decline. The silver price forecast 2020 has moderate reliance on the arrival of a weaker US dollar. Expected silver price in 2020. Working on the following three assumptions, I expect silver prices to soar. A recession will have come by 2020. Stimulus measures undertaken by the U.S. government and the Federal Reserve will match or exceed those undertaken post-U.S. Housing bubble and technological demand will fill or exceed the gap left by losses in traditional industrial demand. I have an initial $50 price target, roughly matching the previous highs experienced in 2011. From there, I will reevaluate the target as silver fundamentals change. Silver price chart. Keep in mind. The position of the post-recession recovery matters. If the economic expansion is still grinding upward in next decade, the silver price forecast 2020 may be delayed. Silver is likely to take off near the end of the recession when investor fear is highest and industrial demand is on the cusp of turning. If the past two post-recession moves in silver prices are any indication, my price target may prove to be conservative. How about some silver price predictions for the next decade? I'll pass. There's not enough visibility to ponder that question. I'll have a better feel for supply, new demand, and investment demand dynamics once this amazingly long but weak U.S. business cycle finally ends. Could silver prices skyrocket? Rising industrial metals make a strong case. Industrial metals getting investors' attention, silver prices remain ignored. Silver prices are severely ignored these days. Mark my words, 
the gray precious metal could reward big time. You see, there's something interesting happening these days, and no one is talking about it. If you look at metals for industrial use, you'll see that they are getting a lot of attention. For example, look at copper. Year to date, the price of the red metal has increased over 27%. It currently sits at its highest level since 2014. Copper isn't the only industrial metal witnessing a robust move to the upside, however. Aluminum prices are soaring as well. They're testing the 2014 highs. Zinc prices are ripping higher too. This metal now trades at around $1.50 a pound. In mid-2015, it traded at around $0.65 cents a pound. This represents an increase of more than 130% in little over two years. Palladium has shown a stellar performance as well. It traded as low as $450 an ounce in early 2016. Now it trades at around $950 an ounce. This represents an increase of over 111% in less than two years. Now, coming back to silver prices. Year to date, the gray precious metal has increased by only 7.5%. If you look at its performance since mid-2015, you'll see that it's relatively flat. Here's the thing that a lot of investors forget, even though silver is considered a precious metal, it has a huge industrial demand as well. To give you some perspective, consider this, over 50% of silver is consumed for industrial use. The metal is used in electronics, solar cells, as a chemical catalyst, and much more. In 2016, global silver demand was 1.027 billion ounces. Well over 500 million ounces of that was for industrial use. Why silver prices could make a run toward $50 in the next year? Looking at all this, it must be asked, why isn't silver getting as much attention as the other industrial metals? It wouldn't astonish me if investors wake up one day and start buying silver again after ignoring it. To me, the greatest indication of this would be when the correlation between gold and silver prices goes haywire meaning, you'd see gold prices remaining flat but silver prices jumping higher. It would indicate that silver is not being looked at as just a precious metal. Dear reader, I reiterate, ignoring silver prices could be a big mistake. I see the metal to be one of the best opportunities out there. How high could silver prices go? I am not big into predicting the exact prices, but. In next year, I wouldn't be shocked if silver makes a solid run toward $50. With this said, I am also paying a lot of attention to silver mining companies. There are very few quality mining companies that are focused on silver only. If the price moves higher, silver mining companies could be in very high demand all of a sudden, and they could provide leveraged gains to silver prices. I will make another bold statement here. I will not be surprised if silver mining stocks reach their 2011 highs before silver prices do. The dramatic shift in the U.S. from silver production dominance to silver importation dependency Srisroko has some startling new statistics with regards to silver production that U.S. silver investors might want to make a note of by Steve Sant'Angelo of Srisroko. Report the rate at which global silver production increased over the past century is quite astonishing. When Columbus arrived in America, 1492, the world was only producing 7 million ounces of silver a year. Today, the world's largest primary silver mine, Fresnillo S. Salicto Mine, produced three times that amount in just one year. 22 million ounces, 2016. Yes, we have come a long way in 500 years. Just think about that for a minute. One silver mine last year produced three times the global amount in 1493. 
according to the U.S. Bureau of Mines' 1930 report on summarized data of silver production. The average annual silver production in the world from 1493 to 1600 was 6 6.9 million ounces, Maz. If we look at the following chart, we can see how world silver production increased over the past 500 plus years. As we can see, average annual world silver production increased from 6.9 Ma's during 1493 to 1600 to 13 Ma's from 1600 to 1700, 18 Ma's from 1700 to 1800, 51 Ma's from 1800 to 1900, 274 Ma's from 1900 to 2000, and a stunning 722 Ma's from 2000 to 2017. Again, these figures represent the average annual silver production for each time period. In the current period, 2000 to 2017, the world has produced 103 times more silver per year, and from 1493 to 1600. However, the next chart shows the total silver production for each period. From 1493 to 1600, the world produced a total of 747 mas of silver, compared to 13,000 mas, 13 billion ounces, in just 18 years from 2000 to 2017. Now, the reason the last silver bar on the right of the chart is lower than the previous one has to do with comparing 18 years worth of silver production, 2000 to 2017, versus 50 years, 1950 to 2000. It took 50 years to produce 17,061 mas, during 1950 to 2000, versus 13,000 mas, in the 18 years from 2000 to 2017. If we compare world silver production from the different periods, here is the result, percentage of world silver production, 1493 to 2017, 2000 to 2017 equals 26.4%, 1950 to 2017 equals 61%, 1900 to 2017 equals 82%, while a little more than a quarter of all world silver production, 1493 to 2017, was produced in the past 18 years. 82% were produced since 1900. That is a lot of silver. It turns out that 40.4 billion ounces was produced from 1900 to 2017, out of the total 49.3 billion ounces produced since 1493. Interestingly, more than half of that silver was consumed in industrial silver applications. I will be writing more about that in future articles. The last chart I find quite interesting. If we go back a little more than a century, the United States was the largest silver producer in the world. In 1915, the U.S. produced 75 mas of silver out of the total 189 mas mined in the world that year, thus, in 1915, the U.S. produced 40% of all world silver production. Mexico came in second in 1915, by producing 39.3 mas. However, U.S. silver production in 2017 will only be 34 mas, versus the estimated 870 mas globally. Thus, U.S. silver production only accounts for 4% of world mine supply versus 40% back in 1915. What a change in 100 years. Lastly, the U.S. imports approximately 22% of world mine production each year. That is 193 mas, of the total 870 mas, in 2017. While domestic mine supply is only 34 mas, the United States has to import more than a fifth of global mine production to meet its silver market demand. 
how to support the SRSROCCO report site. My goal is to reach 500 patron supporters. Currently, the SRSROCCO report has 158 patrons now. Thank you very much for those who became new members and new patrons of the SRSROCCO report site. Please consider supporting my work on Patreon. If you are expecting global growth, then don't ignore silver prices. Silver prices presenting a great buying opportunity. You may have heard of the old investing adage that goes something like this. When there is a gold rush, sell shovels. The idea behind this saying is very simple. You might make more money by selling shovels when everyone wants to look for gold. It has something gold bugs will need to extract gold from the ground. As long as the gold rush remains, shovels will be high in demand. With that said, pay attention to silver prices. The gray metal could be that trade. Global economy roaring. You see, these days, everyone one seems to be pitching the idea of global growth in the coming years. For instance, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, in its World Economic Outlook, suggested that the global economy is witnessing an upswing in economic activity. It expects global output to increase 3.6% in 2017, and 3.7% in 2018. Source, World Economic Outlook, October 2017. International Monetary Fund, last access December 12, 2017. The World Bank is optimistic about the global economy as well. It expects global growth to be 2.7% in 2017, and 2.9% 2 in 2018. In its report, Global Economic Prospects, World Bank said, global activity is firming broadly as expected. Manufacturing and trade are picking up, confidence is improving, and international financing conditions remain benign. Source, Global Economic Prospects, A Fragile Recovery, The World Bank, Last Access December 12, 2017. If you look at indicators of global growth, such as the Baltic Dry Index, BDI, it suggests global growth could be likely. Essentially, if the BDI is trending higher, it suggests that global trade is increasing, and there is economic growth. Look at the chart below, chart courtesy of StockCharts.com. Since early 2016, BDI has soared over 466%. In other words, it has screaming growth in the world economy. Copper enjoys global growth, silver remains ignored with all this said, remember one thing, silver isn't just a precious metal. It has more industrial demand, and it has investment demand. So if global economy is improving, shouldn't the silver prices increase as well? If you look at other industrial metals, they are seeing robust moves to the upside. For example, Look at copper prices. In the last two years, the red metal S prices have soared over 45%. Silver prices, on the other hand, are up, but nothing compared to copper just by 12%. Silver prices outlook, big gains could be ahead dear reader, understand this, silver is a critical metal for several industries. So if you are expecting global growth, you can't ignore silver. Currently, as I see it, the metal is very ignored. Investors are looking at it as a precious metal, ignoring it just like they are ignoring gold. I truly believe it shouldn't be overlooked. In the coming year, we could really see silver prices soar. Qualities have been subdued in recent times. Soaring equity prices and record low volatility have curtailed the wall of worry for now. But those dynamics should change over time. Another round of extreme monetary easing, combined with a geopolitical firestorm, 
could make risk premiums a factor once again. Three catalysts for silver prices to rise. With a silver price per ounce hovering between $14 minus $21 slash Oz. Since July 2014, silver has been an underperforming asset. Like gold, silver can't seem to catch lasting momentum in either direction. For investors with short-term horizons, the price action is bound to frustrate. That being said, I believe that certain factors will work in silver's favor. Silver's price action is historically cyclical. As such, timing the entries is critically important. I believe that the time is coming, however, when silver should be over-allocated into individual portfolios. Here are three reasons. 1. No growth in silver supplies. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, America only produced 470,000 ounces of silver in the first five months of 2017. A year ago, it was 482,000 ounces. Lower supplies aren't just an American anomaly. It's happening throughout the world. Total silver supply decreased by 32.6 million for now, but I don't expect that will last. Similar to the 2009 to 2011 period, the silver price outlook in the future will rebound once a new business cycle comes to pass. Why? Because once the recession hits, the Federal Reserve will likely jump the shark and stimulate the economy even more than in 2008. It has to, as it takes an ever-increasing amount of fiat currency to produce a similar effect on the economy. If investors were fearful of the fiscal condition of Uncle Sam in 2008, wait until the next recession hits. The next one is likely to be global in nature, as most countries are subsidizing consumer demand through low interest rates. Low interest rates are possible through central bank bond purchases, which blows up their balance sheets. Low interest rates also cause sovereign nations to borrow more than is fiscally responsible. Bottom line, expect silver investment demand to return with a vengeance. The hemorrhaging silver supply will act to support prices. Silver Price Forecast 2020 Silver price predictions for 2020 have as much to do with timing as anything else. If, somehow, the current U.S. business cycle doesn't slip into a recession and is still expanding by 2020, the silver price forecast will be subdued. However, if a recession takes hold, like I expect it will by the end of 2019, the sky's the limit for silver in ounces in 2016, led by a 11% drop in demand. Perhaps shockingly, Mexico registered the largest decline in production last year, followed by Australia and Argentina. Mexico is traditionally the largest silver producer in the world. Leading the charge to cut back production are the big silver producers, who have little incentive to find more supply. Typical all-in sustaining costs ASK in the sector are around $10 minus $14 slash Oz. So many producers aren't making much money with silver prices stuck in the mid-teens. The only thing that will incentivize exploration is a higher spot price. I predict that this can happen at the advent of a new business cycle when prices and industrial demand ramp up in conjunction with one another. 2. Technological Demand The winds of change regarding industrial silver demand are blowing. Industrial demand is falling in some traditionally strong areas, like electronic appliances and photography. This has certainly hampered the demand curve in a significant way. But new industries are emerging that could ramp up demand to a higher plateau. Purchases from the photovoltaic industry jumped 34% in 2016, driven by a 49% increase in solar panel installations. The amount of silver consumed totaled 76.6 million ounces, which was the highest amount since 2010. The number of global solar panel installations increased exponentially as well. Driven largely Chinese and American growth, installations climbed 126% and 95%, respectively. Whether the increase in new tech can fully make up for the losses in traditional industrial silver demand remains to be seen. The photovoltaic industry, while not new, still offers plenty of mainstream adoption upside. 3. Increasing investment demand. Retail investment demand has played a huge part in silver's run from $10 slash Oz to $50 slash Oz since the U.S. housing bubble. Back then, the U.S. Mint was regularly selling out of Silver Eagle coins, and shipments from bullion dealers were delayed for weeks on end. 
retail investors couldn't get enough. The massive stimulus and balance sheet expansion undertaken by the Federal Reserve spooked investors and sent the U.S. dollar lower. Over time, however, investment demand waned as the U.S. economy gained traction. So much so that, by 2016, silver coin and metals fabrication fell by 9% from the 2015 record highs. Total physical demand fell by 11%, tumbling on weak jewelry, silverware and retail investment. After profound resilience by retail investors up until 2015, investors finally threw in the towel. Risk assets have won the battle against silver. Silver Price Forecast 2020, Silver's Time to Shine? Silver Price Forecast 2020 shines, but upside depends on business cycle. My Silver Price Forecast 2020 is forging higher, based on strong positive catalysts. I'll highlight three catalysts that are working in Silver's favor and present an end destination forecast. The running of the Silver Bulls is close at hand. Before I move forward with my reasoning for higher Silver Prices, Let's get some of the not-so-positive news out of the way. Similar to my gold price forecast for the next 10 years, silver's near-term fundamentals are somewhat mixed. The economy is growing at what can best be described as a moderate pace. But this moderate growth is much less than the gross domestic product GDP trend growth in previous business cycles, which reduces consumer demand somewhat. Tepid consumer demand usually results in lower industrial end-use demand which works to cap prices. Like gold, silver's precious metal quality